It's time for today's arts and culture feature. Simon Hyduke is a British Columbia-based musician and multimedia artist whose work is inspired by nature and metaphysics. His latest project, Meta Grove, is a blend of melodic ambient music and vibrant psychedelic animation. It's described as a meditation on our intrinsic connection to nature and the foundations of this reality as light and sound. Simon is bringing his Meta Grove experience to the Cardell Theatre in Calgary on Friday, May 5th. Joining us now to talk about the show is Simon Hyduke. Hello, Simon. Hello, Lisa. Well, I'm glad that you could join us today. Thanks for uh, taking the time to talk to us about this really interesting project. Thank you. My pleasure to be here. Well, first off, this Meta Grove experience combines music, uh, visual art, and animation. Which medium did you first start working in, and what inspired you to explore different mediums? Well, I've been making visual art, drawing, and painting most of my life since I was a child. And growing up, I started to get into different playing different instruments as a teenager, guitar and bass, and then drums. And then I would make my own albums. And I went back and forth between visual art, painting, and music for years. And uh, in 2006, I went to Vancouver Film School to take digital design and started learning motion graphics. And I did want to animate my artworks in that way. So I started doing that and getting into more digital painting. And then as the years progressed, figuring out how to further develop my animations or my paintings into animations and then into VJ software, so for being able to do live visuals at music concerts and and then also continuing to make music, different kinds of music, ambient and other types of instrumental music, and then combining them into this new show. Tell us about this show. What can the audience expect when they sit down and, you know, the lights go down? Well, it's a cinematic experience, and it's uh, animations that are synchronized to music. So the same as you might see live visuals at a music concert. This is essentially the same thing, except there's no live music happening. Hmm. So the visuals have a uh, audio synchronized moments to highlights in the music. And it goes through different sequences of my animated artworks through different songs. Some are very ambient and meditative, and then some are a bit more up tempo. It's meant to be very inspiring and uplifting. They're all nature and spirituality based. So the idea is to allow people to feel a sense of peace and inspiration and connection to spirit and nature. Oh, that sounds remarkable. Now, this has been described as visionary art. Can you tell us a bit about, did you, did you consider yourself a visionary artist or in the visionary art world? And uh, can you tell us a little bit about what that entails? Yeah, for sure. So visionary art, the term's been around for a while. I do consider myself a visionary artist. All the shows that I've been in over the past couple of decades have been under that genre. And usually it comes from inspiration through mystical states of being, Uh, There's usually some source of light emanating from forms, or there's a lot of realms made of light, geometric shapes, uh, light emitting from things, and or just realms made of light. So there's a always some kind of connection to spirituality, uh, metaphysical energy, yeah, and 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 psychedelics. Like it also it could be referenced as psychedelic art. So a lot of the mystical mm-hmm. art is people coming from psychedelic experiences or deep meditative states. Uh, so there is often that bright, colorful aspect, but not always. Not all visionary art has that. Right. right. It's uh, like like a lot of genres. Some people would argue differences about what the terminology is, but yeah, that's the that's the genre that I'm usually associated with. Right. Right. Well, it's very cool. It's Mental Health Week this week, and to you, what role can arts and nature play in supporting positive mental health and well-being? I feel like art plays a huge role in well-being. It's For me specifically, I, I, I feel like art is really connected to states of mental health. I really feel like it helps me become a more centered and peaceful person when I'm able to access creativity and express myself so a lot of feelings can come through art and for me specifically my visual art is meant to be uplifting so if i'm intentionally accessing that state of creativity then my intention ideally is going to also affect other people that are going to see it and experience it 
And I don't think necessarily all art has to be coming from a state of uplifting. I also sometimes create things that are just expressing, can express frustration. And that is also a form of sort of catharsis in order to get it out. Sometimes some of my music has maybe my own personal music that's not on Metagro, but sometimes it might have a more aggressive feeling to it. And that can be cathartic to be able to express those feelings with a creative outlet rather than taking it out on other people, let's say. So both both aspects, uplifting art on the other forms, allow us to cultivate a sense of awareness around how we're feeling, how we're being with that in the world. And it's also just fun to explore creativity, and, and it gives us a sense of um, individuation and allows us to express dreams. Yeah, there's all kinds of benefits that can really mm-hmm. come from it. Thank you so much, Simon. That is so cool what you do. And I'm glad that you had uh, some time to share uh, experience and the inspiration behind your work. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me about it. That was multidisciplinary artist Simon Hajduk. You can see his stunning visual and music experience, Meta Grove, on May 5th, that's a Friday, at Cardell Theatre at 180 Quarry Park Boulevard, southeast in Calgary. For more information and to see Simon's work, go to Simon Hyduke, that's H-A-I-D-U-K dot com.